Yes, the year was 1984, the year of Frankie Goes to Hollywood. Relax was number one for five weeks, thanks to that man Mike Reed banning it. The follow-up two tribes did even better, and those T-shirts were everywhere. It's such a, such a big thing, you know what I mean? It's kind of like, like this big dust bowl behind us, and it went so kind of fast. We were kind of playing up and like doing the north, the scene in the north, like we were playing in Manchester and Liverpool, and getting quite a little following together. And then, um, yeah, people kept, we were sort of like, it was getting a bit folklore, and people were like, oh, you've got to go and see that band in the nuts, because we were absolutely mental at that point. But the bubbles soon burst. That tricky second album proved tricky. There were rows about money, and soon Frankie was saying, see you in court. I always met this happening with George Michael. Everyone thought he was above all that. It's just, it's, it seems to be like part of it. You know what I mean? It's part of it. It's a, it's a career move. And one, you join a band, two, you get a hit record, three, you get screwed over. Holly Johnson would win his court case against Frankie producer Trevor Horn. But worse, much worse was to come. In April this year, Holly announced that he was HIV positive. It's, it's a very sad fact, isn't it? I mean, no one that I've, I've lost people through, I've lost lots of friends and things. It's, it's also a fact of life now, and I'm, I'm no longer really mystical about it any longer. You know what I mean? It's just like um, the only way to combat it, I think, is it, to combat against it is, is to stop, to stop it being this mythical thing. Since the band split up, the band members have gone their separate ways. Head, Nasher, Mark, while Paul models for classy British designer John Richmond. And like so many Liverpool bands of the past, Frankie went to London. You don't have to get up quite as early to get on the train to be down there. Um, it's just like kind of getting to the core of it. I mean, it's kind of, it is, I'm afraid to say it is a bit more exciting down here. But the Frankie story isn't over yet. Their greatest hits is high in the charts, while the reissued Welcome to the Pleasure Dome is a top 20 single. So will we ever see a revival of the Fab Five? To get us all on a stage, you'd be bloody lucky. <laughs> More chance of getting the Beatles back together, I say. Speaking